right, so looking forward to it. Let's go. Let's get this loaded up. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's go. Um, um, this is taking a long time. Thank God for that. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, do you reckon I've got enough time for a sandwich? Yeah, I'm going to make a sandwich. Is this still not done? Come on. Still no, 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 no. Greetings gamers, you're watching Darth Sten Games with me, Nurgle45. Today we're taking a look at the part board game, part computer game and part choose your own adventure game, The Warlock of Firetop Mountain. I've been looking forward to playing this game for ages, I used to read all the books when I was a kid. It starts in your typical fair, you take a look at some characters, choose your hero and off you go to the mountain. If you get the Goblin Scourge expansion, uh, you can play as the bad guys too. Let me take a look at some of these little monsters. Uh, just to let you know as well that in the Nintendo store for Switch, this game's just $1.99 at the time this goes out. And that version comes with the Goblin Scourge DVD too. What a bargain to get yourself over there. Look at them models. That's cool. The game also gives you a little history about the books, etc. A little about who wrote them, when they come out. They've also put a list about all the books, where is it? Dating back to 1982. That's a lot of books there. Gosh. That's some reading. Oh, and take a look at this map. Fantastic. I love the colour schemes that they've uh, gone with this. It really goes with the old vibe the books used to have. Plenty of mountains. That yeah, looks like rain. <laughs> oh, we're in the real bones of it now. See, and the further you go, it opens up uh, different ways. You can turn east or west. Take your pick. And you meet certain people, different things, different rooms. Sleeping lazy goblin. Real good fun. This is a little bit deeper into the dungeon. And this just opens up as far as you want to go. And each one of the characters is on like a different mission through the dungeon itself as well. So you're all going to be encountering different parts of the story depending on which character goes where. You get some nice rooms like this, some terrible rooms, some torture chambers, all sorts of things. Don't open the box. Anyone who plays these games know would never open the box. There you go. An orc trick. Snakes aren't too bad, eh? Anyway. Yeah, we'll fight the snake. Let's go. The combat's pretty easy. You sort of, uh, you pick where you think your enemy's going to go and you attack there. Or you move out of the way trying to avoid your enemy's attack. And each enemy has got its own way of attacking. You can you quite easily sort of remember their moves for when they when they come up again. You can take them out. Like this poison slash is a two two spaces, and I know he's going to move out now, so I just wait, hit him there. Job gun, victory, easy peasy. Some don't quite go as easy as that though, as you'll see. Ah, it's 
Sei. And you're going to come across loads of cool art from the books from back in the day here. All these was in the books. But anyway, yeah, I would advise, I would advise picking this game up. Anyway, that's all from us at Darsten Games. See you next time.